Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Crystal and um, I have a reborn box opening to do today. I've actually had this baby for two weeks and life has just gotten in the way. I haven't had time to do any kind of videos, unfortunately. So um, I have a box opening from uh, Cassie Kemp at Tiny Tinky's Treasures and I've been waiting for this baby for a very long time. Um, I didn't want to do a custom. <clears throat> I just knew if I was patient enough something would end up on Reborns.com and one night I decided to check it and there she was. So let's go ahead and get started. And I believe she is a limited edition sculpt. So this is this is how she comes when you order. Um, from Cassie if you happen to order from Cassie but I love her work um so I mean it's she doesn't do big box openings or anything like that so this is how she comes um box openings cost a lot more money instead of just buying um the baby itself uh, box openings they include multiple different things which I like to go shopping for my own babies and if I'm like reborn expecting or how they say it, um, I like to choose what I want. I like to go thrifting. Um, since my husband and I are trying to have a baby of our own, I do like to buy gender neutral stuff so I can use it for my dolls. Therefore, I can return and use it for our own baby. But um, it just costs a lot more money when a, an artist has to go and buy brand new things. Um, and I find it more fun to do it myself. So not only it saves you money, um, uh, if you enjoy stuff like that, you can go do it yourself. So she does not do a box opening. It's just um, what you purchase and what the artist chooses to include themselves if they want to include anything. So... And there she is. Holy moly. So just an empty box. She is super heavy. Oh, oh my. Okay. And I have ordered from her before. Um, I have an Alexis sculpt. I get so excited with these. I'm going to get them back out of the way. So, um, this is what she includes. It is a magnetic pacifier. pacifier and her COA. So, this is cute. A little magnetic pacifier. And she is from um, Tinky's Tiny Treasures. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's Cassie Kemp. You can find her on Reborns.com. You can find her on Facebook as well. She also posts, um, items that she's going to post on Reborns. Or you can always message her for customs. And this is a limited edition sculpt. She is Peaches by Cassie Brace. And she is just 
she's just beautiful. I love Cassie Bray sculpts. And that's Cassie. And this is her COA. Unfortunately, it's bent. It came bent. Nice peaches. I'm sorry. I'm just reading. Um, she is limited edition 1,295 out of 1,800 that are available. So that is pretty cool. And I love Reborn, like uh, the real born sculpts that are um, from uh, 3D scans of real babies. Um, but Cassie just seems to get such realism with her sculpts. And then this is just a um, care sheet that she includes. She is heavy. I don't know if I can bring you down a little bit farther. Bear with me here. I just got a light ring, so I'm just getting used to it. She, you can see all her modeling and her little feet. Look at the wrinkles on these little feet. And after I ordered her, um, about a little bit after, maybe a week after, Genesis Heat Paints uh, made an announcement that they are discontinuing their entire line. And, um, I had spoken to Misty from, um, Kits to Cradles Nursery, and she said that people haven't been able to find, um, the varnish. So people are having to use the air dry paints, and I don't like air dry paints because the paints rub off. And, um that's really scary to me because you invest so much money into these dolls and just to have their paints rubbed off. Like I don't, I don't role play very much. I just, I like to have them and I think they're beautiful pieces of art and I just think they're stunning. I've always collected dolls when I was a kid and I've, I just, I love, I love these. They're just amazing. And I just wanted to, get something that I've always wanted and I got her and for Genesis to come out and say, Oh, we're no longer going to be supplying. We're having issues getting the ingredients, the formula. So we're just not going to make it anymore, but we're coming out with something else. Uh, there should be a replacement, but the replacement isn't, uh, working. They're having issues with it, but, um, I'm just so glad I got her. Um, and my artist did invest in uh, multi multiples of her varnish because you don't want this paint rubbing off. You spent, we invest so much money into these dolls and they, um, we don't need the paint rubbing off. She's so re, I mean, her modeling is crazy. So, she, um, she has peaches. She is, um zero to three month size so I t I'm totally getting off track I'm sorry but her little feet and let's see a hand let's see a hand. so here's her little fists I think they're so cute let's see bear with me guys I'm sorry I get off track 
Y flushes. Alrighty. So I'm going to open her head. She's a big baby. For and look at her. Wow. And she does have rooted eyelashes and painted hair. I love Cassie's hair. Look at that. And it's got the swirl. I just, I love her artwork. Look at that hair. And those ears. She is so pretty. She is so, so pretty. Isn't she just stunning? She does wear um, zero to three months. I'm not sure. I would have to get on Reborns and try. I can't remember how much she weighs. I think she's maybe six, six pounds, seven pounds, something like that. And she does have a magnetic in her mouth. So. Oh, she's so pretty. I wish I could do this. Let's see. She is super heavy. I didn't expect her to be this heavy. Isn't she cute? I got some um, actual past. I think this is a honeybee. I think this might be a honeybee. Is it? Do, do, do. Yes, it is a honeybee. I have some real... Um, pacifiers that I'm going to magnetic for her I love this outfit and she does wear a size 1 diaper and Misty mentioned that she had a super cute bum so we're going to we're going to check out her bum oh I didn't do this very good today Look at her tush. Look at that butt. And she is um a really nice sculpt to lay down. Isn't she just pretty? So, so if you're interested in peaches, you need to hurry up and um, commission you one or purchase one uh, on Reborns.com or you can contact Cassie Kemp at Tiny T uh, Tinky's Tiny Treasures, <laughs> tongue twister. Um, she can get you one since they are limited edition once they start. They're already a popular uh, sculpt. And once they're out, they're out. And I think, is it Bountiful Baby or McPherson's? I think it's McPherson's. But once they get to a small um, number left, the price goes sky high. And we all know prices are already going up. Um, so, absolutely beautiful sculpt. Um, I will do, uh, some hauls that I did for, for, uh, the babes. So she's just stunning. Yeah, she's absolutely beautiful. Oh, and she, 
You can, she just fits in your arm so nice. And the varnish she used, it's a matte varnish and it's more skin texture. It's more um, textured uh, skin and it, it feels more, sorry, it feels more authentic. So I just think she's beautiful. Let me know what you guys think. Um, do you have a peaches? Do you like peaches? Who's your favorite artist? What do you, what do you think? I think she's stunning. She's beautiful. The cheeks, the cheeks are just it, it for me, the cheeks and the chin. I really wish they made more of um, an open mouth to take a modified pacifier because I don't like making magnetics. They're not hard. Um, but it would just be, it would just be simpler to be able to cut the nipple off a little bit and be able to use it more realistically than having to use, um, a magnet, but, uh, she does have a little bit of all these dolls. There are dolls. So, um, there are little imperfections everywhere. You can, if you do a custom, you can ask for like a scratch. You can ask for milk bumps. You can ask for birthmarks, stuff like that. But she's got a little freckle on her eyelid right here. And you have to look a little bit um, closer to like to see those um, imperfections. But to me, she's pretty perfect. I don't really see any imperfections. I do, I do um, appreciate the imperfections on it because you know, I like freckles, I like dimples, I like uh, little scratch marks, milk bumps. But she would look super cute with milk bumps. You can see her little rooted eyelashes. And her little nose. Alright, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, what else you would like to see on my channel. I will try to start posting. Um, I will try to start posting more frequently. Um, I do have a bunch of hauls to do. Um, I've got a bunch of baby clothes. I've got a bunch of baby items. Um, I got a bunch of thrift store finds, which I think are amazing. And hopefully I'll get to those sooner than later. So if you have any name recommendations, I do like peaches, but, um, She kind of looks like a lily, maybe. Or a Rosalie. Or an Ivy. I think she's super, super cute. Okay. Thanks, everybody. And I will see you later.